the epicenter of the pandemic was shifting and the South in particular was beginning to be the area where HIV and AIDS cases were on the rise and AIDS deaths were on the rise. The African American community, the Hispanic community, women and children and youth were becoming the most vulnerable to this disease and we knew we had to broaden our ability to reach a diverse population with the possibilities that this quilt holds. Names Project Foundation is the organization that is the caretaker of the AIDS Memorial Quilt. We were founded in San Francisco in 1987, and in 2001, we moved the organization to Atlanta. The quilt was founded with one single name and one single panel. And today, we have more than 91,000 names on this quilt. There are over 46,000 individual panels. And this quilt weighs 54 tons. And we here in Atlanta are still collecting new panels. Each and every day, we send out displays of sections of the quilt to schools, to synagogues, to mosques, to theaters. This quilt, however, represents less than 20% of the AIDS deaths in this country. But it's not really about the numbers. I mean, that's important, and you need to understand how big this epidemic is. But at the same time, the AIDS quilt does an amazing job of saying, these are people. These are people who are dying. These are people with names, people with faces people whose family and friends love them very, very much, and they're dying. Definitely, I, I would like to, to make a panel myself. I know someone personally who, who, did, who did die from the disease, and I don't want that to be lost. You can come down here. We have all the fabric for free. We will teach you how to sew. You can use our space. You can use our know-how. All you need to do is to design what you want. And that's going to be the hardest part, is what, what that person meant to you. To, to put all that into a three by six piece of fabric is very difficult. Uh, it's really kind of a hard thing to explain. What you're doing is you're recreating that person, and you're bringing them back. And it's everything you ever thought about the person. So it's really kind of, the way I've always looked at it is that it's more looking into your soul than it is about them. That's just my own personal feeling. I cannot stress enough that the, making a panel has saved my life. I've made over 100 panels. I could easily make 300, and I'm really lucky I could be a small part of helping other people make panels too and be a small part of helping to heal them. This quilt has become a cultural repository. It documents the story of life in the age of AIDS. And in that, people's sentiments and their expressions have become transformed from fear and anger into a vast, epic collection of evidence of life and love. By taking just a moment to look at a single panel, you are given an opportunity to witness a life and the life that you can see a lot of times doesn't look so different than your own.